Hey guys, welcome back to FMP Toots. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the duration of a uh, transition from one clip to another. Um, I currently don't have any transitions. I'm going to add one real quick. All right, um, here we go. It's just a basic uh, cross dissolve. So you can see that. And then the dissolve. So what you have to do is click the actual trans uh, transition and uh, right click change duration now when you start typing you're actually going to be typing into the frames um, and then seconds so you have to type in let's say if you only type in 23 that's only going to be 23 frames but if you start to add zeros to that all of a sudden you're changing the seconds as well so once you change it hit enter and then you can replay it And you'll see a very gradual transition depending on the duration of uh, your transition. Uh, keep in mind though that um, transitions are defaulted to overlap uh, the videos. So you might lose um, some of your footage as it merges with uh, the transition. Uh, just something to keep in mind. Uh, to add a transition again, or if in case you didn't know, uh, I should have said this at the beginning perhaps, but it's just this little icon here and then you can just drag and drop transi transitions or you can hit uh, select the slide and then hit command T on your keyboard and it will add a standard cross dissolve which you can later manipulate. Uh, if you have any questions or comments um, let me know in the area below. I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you. Thanks for checking out another one of my videos here at FMP Toots. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you found it very useful. Uh, the main mission here at FMP Toots is to sh simply share the knowledge of uh, Revit, SketchUp, iMovie, and other software out there that uh, people might just have simple questions with or have, you know, a bit more complicated of a question. Uh, I really try to target as big of an audience as possible. Um, if you find that the tutorials are helpful to you and you think that they might, you know, you might have a colleague who's struggling, feel free to pass on the link. All you have to do is go to the top of the page, uh, press Control c on your Windows or Command-C on your Mac, and then paste that link in an email, uh, on a Facebook message, even through YouTube. It's pretty simple. Um, if you'd like to continue seeing my videos, um, go ahead and like or subscribe to the page. This way you can get reoccurring updates saying that I updated or I uploaded another video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, hit me in the discussion area or email me at slkr2016 at gmail.com. Uh, have yourself a great day. Thank you.